Hey Taurus, we are here to, today to do your October 2021 reading. I'm going to do the spread a little bit different today. We're going to pull an overall energy for you guys, and then we're going to do it this way. First column is going to be general. Second column is going to be money. Third column is going to be love. And they're all going to intertwine at the end, so we'll see how that works, okay? All right. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Welcome back to my subscribers. Welcome to anyone new. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and I hope that you'll hit the bell too so you're notified when I uh, post new readings. This isn't going to resonate with everyone, but it is going to resonate with someone. So please guys, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, please. It so helps with my channel and it so helps with the energy. And I appreciate every single one of you. All right, let's get started. Universe guides, angels and spirits. What is going on with Taurus, please? Taurus, October 2021. Thank you. Give me another card, please. Taurus, please. Thank you. All right, Taurus. First card out by the book by the book. Some of you are going to have a choice to make. I feel like in the month of October, there's something that you can either do um, somebody's way or your way, right? You may have a different opinion of what this other person, whoever this is, is um, explaining to you. And I feel like you're going to have that choice. We also have building blocks. This is something about working, working towards that goal, right? I feel like you're also going to have a choice about that as well. I'm feeling a lot of choices in October for you guys, Taurus. Um, you know, you keep, you keep trying to reach a point where um, you might feel like you're hitting that brick wall. But let me tell you that in October, I feel like um, you're going to be pretty much close to that end result. That's what I'm feeling anyway. So let's pull some tarot and let's see what's going on. Okay. Um, I also just got, um, I'm supposed to reach out or shout out to a Katie. If anyone knows a Katie. And yes, I, I'm, my name is Kathleen, but I don't, I'm not known as Katie. But um, Spirit wants Katie to know that um, she is not alone. So if you guys know of a Katie who's not doing very well these days, please let Katie know she is not alone. All right. Spirit, what's going on with Taurus, please? 2021 of October. October 2021. For Taurus, please. Okay. First row, general. Second row, money. And third row, love. Underneath the deck, guys, we have the Queen of Swords. Cutting things out. There are some things, Taurus, that you guys are cutting out in the month of October. Things that either don't satisfy you or, you know, don't serve your purpose, right? Those will be cut out, I feel. I feel like you're you're actually starting to feel that purge type energy, getting rid of things that you don't need anymore. Um, I'm feeling that big time. 
For some of you with the change of seasons, that's definitely bringing it on. So here's your general reading. We have the Six of Cups. Children could be playing a major part um, in October in your life. And I feel like um, maybe someone's coming back from college for a while. I don't know. Um, but definitely children playing um, a major part in your life. If not, it can also mean reconciliation with someone although we are in a general reading area it doesn't really matter so let's see what else comes up here we do have the king of cups there's a lot of love for either these children this child or this person who you may be reconciling with in the month of october this person is um I'm feeling like this person is someone who you may actually know from a past life. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. So there's, again, the, the decision. There's a dis some type of decision because I feel like you want growth with this person, but I feel like your plans didn't include this person for some reason. Um... And now they may actually include this person. We have the lion head right there. I mean, so prominent, right? I feel like you might be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But you definitely um, have been very strong. And um, this person sees you as a very strong person. A very strong, independent individual. All right, let's go to the love, uh, the money section, please. The Seven of Swords. Watch your money this, the month of October, um, Taurus. There could be someone out to um, swindle you in some type of way. So be careful of your possessions and your money. Keep an eye on your wallet. Um, keep your eye on your bag at all times whether you're going out don't leave your bag around you know watch where you put your wallet just keep an eye on that the hermit so i feel like you guys are going to be doing a lot of soul searching as far as your money goes um perhaps trying to improve your money situation we have the six of wands and this card worries me as well um, at times because the six of wands means, um, you know, could be someone in the public eye, right? It, the six of wands to me, if you're out in public a lot, just keep an eye on that wallet. Um, there's someone, um, perhaps you're giving to organizations, try to hold back from that. Be careful of that. If you're giving to organizations, um, because with the Six of Wands here and this Victory card right below the Seven of Swords and this Hermit card, I feel like, you know, there, there's, there's a chance that you could be um, swindled somehow with your money. So just watch out with your money. Okay, guys? All right. In the Love category, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. This is you in your head. This is you... Um, arguing with yourself in your head it's a little bit of a negative energy in the month of october regarding um relationships and regarding um you know who a, a situation perhaps if not it's just in general right um i i don't need anyone i'm good on my own either that or i'm tired of of having to go through you know these things by myself there is but but who's gonna want me you know that that type of negative energy I feel like it's um you're, you're doing it to yourself you're doing it to yourself it's also crossed with the hermit so you're in your head way too much in the month of October Taurus try not to do that sorry I had to take a sip the wheel of fortune you know things don't end with um when a situation ends that wheel keeps turning right guys the wheel keeps turning it doesn't stop so there's there you have to feel 
think of ways to move on. You have to think of ways to move forward. That wheel does keep turning. It's not going to stop. Um, and you can't change that. This is a situation that was out of your control. Um, but you can change being in your head too much and self-sabotage, right? The Ace of Cups. There you go. There you go. A new beginning in love. There is love here for you, but I feel like you need to stay out of your head somewhat. The Ace of Cups is right next to the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. And to the left of that is the Two of Cups. So I feel like at the end of the month, the end of the month, more towards the end of the month, you will be meeting either someone new or a reconciliation of someone that you once deeply cared about. Let's get some more cards to clarify, okay? I do still feel that you guys are going to be purging um, in the month of October, getting rid of things and, and cleaning up spaces. And that would be a really good thing for you guys. Spirit, what else can you tell Taurus, please, for the month of October 2021? Please clarify the cards on the table for Taurus. Why is the Six of Cups here for Taurus, please? Why is the Six of Cups here? There we go. The Three of Wands. This is something you've been waiting for something you have been waiting for that someone you want to talk to and it's someone you definitely want to move forward with at this point i feel like at, initially you weren't sure if this is someone um that you wanted to actually go forward with the five of cups in the at the bottom of the deck is perhaps you have some regret over how this situation may have ended or how uh, it was when you were last together, you know, what had happened. Why is the King of Cups here for Taurus, please? Why is the King of Cups here for Taurus? Thank you. The Seven of Cups. So I feel like with this uh, king of cups here i feel like maybe this king of cups had other options and um you know things didn't go well the last time you two were together underneath the deck we have the ace of wands along with the ace of pentacles along with the six of cups again so if this is not children or a child that you'll be focused on in the month of october this could absolutely be um, a reconciliation with someone. Why is the Two of Cups here, please, for Taurus? Why is the Two of Cups here? Thank you. Wow, came out again. Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is also covering the Six of Wands. So this person does want victory with you. The Magician underneath the deck manifesting this. The Star, you are their wish fulfillment. It may have been a while since this person has been here um, or been in your, in your um, environment. But they're coming in. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Thank you. Yeah, see, the Six of Pentacles. I'm, I'm worried about someone taking from you. I'm worried about... Um, just watch your money. With the Six of Pentacles, th there's something quite, you know, not quite right. And it's also on top of the Five of Swords. Perhaps this person from your past has stolen from you in the past. I don't know. I would be very careful of your money, though. Why is the Hermit here? Thank you. Wow. The Six of Wands again. 
wanting that victory with you landing right on the wheel of fortune okay why is the six of wands here oh boy the nine of pentacles they see you as someone who's very stable very confident very well off you know not really uh, worried about your money not really worried about anything they want that victory with you we have the eight of swords in the reverse someone who isn't stuck any longer someone who is um, wanting to let you know so um, they're not in their head any longer about you I feel like they know what they want why is the five of swords here why is the five of swords here you might be thinking this is just too much too much work the knight of swords the knight of swords this is going to happen so fast that you're going to be totally caught off guard totally confused really you're going to be in your head a lot over this like oh my god what just happened right why is the wheel of fortune here Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Taurus? One card, please. Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. This person's coming in with an apology and an offer of love to you, Taurus. Like I said, that wheel keeps going regardless. Ace of Cups. Underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Taurus? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Thank you. Is that too many? Well, you know what? I'll take them. It's three, but I'll take them. First card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to work on this. They want to work on it. They want victory. I still feel, though, that you will have the choice. You know, do what's right for you. Use your intuition. They do want victory with you, though. And they're coming in quickly. You know, they want to invest their time in you. They want to invest in you question is do you want to invest in them what's under the deck there we go the two of swords the two of swords you know you're you're guarded your heart is guarded and you have that decision you're going to have to make and like i said with these two cards here is the overall energy they both to me both of them to me represented a, um a decision that had to be made although one of them I feel like they this person whoever this person is is going to have their ideas are going to be a little different than yours you're you know looking towards the future and um, I don't know you know what their true intentions are um, just be careful so your money is fine just be careful of watching your wallet and watching your possessions in the month of October someone is coming back wanting victory with you um, they may have they may have not been um, all that great with you in the past they may have um, cheated on you or whatever it is if it's not that then you're going to be focused big time on a child or children in October and yeah so you know everything looks pretty good I love 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 you guys and uh, leave me a comment let me know if this resonates with you I will talk to you soon have a great October bye Taurus